Tudors. Henry VIII really was a terrible Tudor. If he didn't like you, he'd have your head chopped off. He even beheaded two of his wives. In this week's issue of Oh Yay! magazine, Henry VIII's latest wedding, we ask, will Catherine Park go the distance, or are we heading for another beheading? Plus, Henry VIII tells of his heartbreak at the Anne of Cleves' divorce. I chucked her because she was a minger. And Anne Boleyn's manky six-finger revealed. Was it an abnormal extra finger, or was it just a wart? It's a wart! All the goss, all the fix, on all the latest beheadings, only in this week's Oh Yay! Henry just loved chopping off heads. Didn't do it himself, mind. He had trained executioners to do the dirty work. <laughs> I wonder how you get chosen for that job. The Axe Factor. It's a Monday morning in Tudor, England, and a batch of new recruits are about to see who's up to the challenge of landing their dream job. Chopping people's heads off. I've been living the dream, really. <laughs> well, more of a nightmare, I suppose. My mum reckons I'll be really good at this job. Got all the right qualities. And what does your dad think? I don't know. I chopped his head off. I mean, some people say, you know, this isn't a job for a woman, but to be honest, you know, you're wearing a mask, so who's going to know? It's not just about chopping people's heads off. There's all sorts of skills required in the job. There's hanging people, dropping people in boiling oil, chopping the limbs off, and then, of course, you got the slitting people open, watching the stomachs fall out. <laughs> right, you're out! Oh, please, sir. I've got so much more to give. God, I didn't even mention pulling people's lungs out. <laughs> Oi, watch me shoes! Vamos! The remaining recruits are set to their first task, which is to lift the axe. So what makes you think you can do this job, Sonny? I, I like the uniform and... I just want to be independent, you know, stand on my own two feet. One foot. Next! Right, listen very carefully. The type of noose used in a public execution varies according to the time of day the execution is to be carried out. This is the seven o'clock noose. This is the nine o'clock noose. And this is the noose at ten. And this is the person that wrote that joke. Now, what makes you think you should be given the job? Well, I've got the axe, and you haven't. Good point. Welcome to the tower. Ah! Horrible history.